we're back in the office. So the unit is cooling and it's not doing anything. I just found it on the roof. Uh, of course, it's not labeled properly, but I found it. I put it in heat mode and that's the only one that's running in heat. So, yep. Anyway, onto the roof. So here we go. Alrighty then. So we're on the roof. We found our unit. Uh, I marked it. So it says it's sweet 208, but it's actually 206. So put it in heat mode and you know, there's like a ton of units here, as you can see. And there's like even more down on the lower roof over there. So that's the one that actually says 206. So that's, that's I got up to it and it's cooling perfectly fine. I'm like, what the heck's going on? So anyway, um, when I did put it in heat mode, I mean, I didn't let it run for long. So maybe the blower hadn't turned on yet, but I was noticing I wasn't getting any airflow. Um, there's a transformer in here um, and that suite's really tiny. So I'm pretty sure it's um, zoned. So there's another suite next to it to 12. So this one probably serves both of them. Uh, and of course the zone board's not up here, so it's probably in the ceiling somewhere. So we might have a bad actuator. So I'm gonna uh, go ahead and test this thing, make sure it's actually functional. And before I turn anything on, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the filters are good. Make sure the coil's not iced or anything like that. All right, filters look good. And no ice. All right, run cap is 15 and we have 14.9, uh, so we are good. So we're gonna go ahead and cycle the fan, make sure it comes on. All right, fan is functional, so that's not the problem. Let's go ahead and cycle uh, cooling and see what happens. All right, so we got it on cool. You can see it's on solid cool, cool on, so that means it's actually calling. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to the roof. We're back on the roof. Uh, everything's running, the blower's on now. Um, so yeah, it's, this is one of those carriers which requires a call for G as well as why because you know they got all these circuit boards but they can't make it do it turn it on automatically i mean that's just too much to ask so annoying um but anyway you can see here if i can get my wires to fit here we, if we go from g to c well g to c we have 24 volts and then if we go y1 to c we have 24, so the thermostat's actually calling for G and Y. All right, so. I'm bummed out because it's cooling normally. I still have no airflow, so we probably got a dead, uh, a dead zone damper or something. So that's gonna be fun because I have no idea where the zone border or any of that is. So we gotta go into the ceiling now. So now I gotta walk like 20 miles away to go get my ladder. Oh man, that sucks. Why couldn't it be up here? Yeah, so we know it's running. We know we have airflow and I got nothing. I got a little bit here, but that could be a little bit of leakage. So I think there's a zone damper somewhere. So I need to go get a ladder. Yeah, we got zero airflow, as you can see. We'll check this other one here. We got Nathan. All right, so check this out. This, this is completely off. Um, I am actually getting a little bit of cold air coming out here, but it's very faint. So it looks like it runs back over there somewhere. Uh, let's see. So it's definitely going to be in the other suite. So there's another suite on the other side of there. So we're going to have to get in there. Okay, and that's actually, is, is that a return? I can't tell. Anyway, we'll go ahead and reconnect this duct though. I'm getting a little bit of airflow out of it, but very, very little. So I think the damper is not opening all the way. Yeah, see, it's cold. It feels good here blowing in my face. So anyway, we're gonna reattach this. I think I actually have some duct tape on my bag, so we'll get that reattached and then we'll go find the damper, which is definitely gonna be in that other suite. All right, so we got that duct reconnected. So now we gotta go find the uh, zone damper. So there's the zone board. Uh, I couldn't get into that suite because of course it's locked and look at that, it's all drywall. I don't even know if I can get to it, but there's the zone damper right there. So it's probably failed. Thank goodness there's a hatch. Our damper is right there. Let's check it out. So here's our zone damper for our suite. So that green wire on the top, that's to open it. The blue one in the middle, that's our common. And then the red one on the bottom is our closing. So um, it's on zone two. So we're calling, which means we should be receiving 24 volts going to uh, the top and the bottom one, which, or I'm sorry, the top and the middle, which is going to be open and common. So let's go ahead and test that. So we're going M1 to M4. We're receiving voltage. Sorry, this is really awkward to do. 
Uh, so that's normal. Now we should have no voltage between our M1 and M6. So what we can do with this guy is there's a little button right here. If we push that, that disconnects it from this so I can force it open manually. So let's see if we can do this one-handed. Um, so I'm pushing that down and we turn it that. So now it should be all the way open. And then when I let go of that, it should hold it open. So let's go see if we have airflow next door. All right, we got airflow, it's spinning. It's not the best airflow, but we got something. So yeah, so now we have it all the way open. All right, so it's a couple days later. Uh, we're back up here in the attic. We got our new dampers, actuators, which are these guys. I couldn't find these particular ones, so we're gonna make this work. These are Johnson controls. Those are too, but I think they're obsolete or whatever. So anyway, we're gonna try to figure out how to get this one off. And then I have another one actually up there that we gotta change too because it's stuck open and then this one is stuck closed. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and loosen the shaft. Well, this is a 516 square, uh, square drive there. And then we need to go ahead and see how this thing is mounted. Looks like there's another 516 screw back there. Let's see if we can get that off. Okay. Go ahead and remove our wires. So our blue is our common, uh, red is closed, and green is open. And I do have the power cut, so we won't have any shorts. And that just slides off like that. Okay, so we got that mounted on there. Now we gotta go ahead and put a 516 screw in the end. I don't know if that is this the mold gonna reach. Doesn't seem like it. Nope. I gotta make a new one. Alright, cool. So now let's go ahead and mount the other one. one failed is pretty pretty hard to turn well the new one is actually a little bit stronger than these old ones this one's 10 newton meter, 10 newton meters the new one's 18 so should be able to turn that no problem now that uh, we got that mounted we're gonna go ahead and restore power so we can go ahead and uh, line these up I'm not sure which way open or close is so we'll have to use an anometer to verify it's open and closed all right, so I got the power restored and I've drilled some pilot holes here just so I can tell if they're open or not. Uh, this is just so I can see inside. This is um, where the air comes in, so I guess discharge. And then this is supply side. So the damper's right here. Um, and I've taken out this air sensor just so I can make sure that it's actually open. So I'm gonna go ahead and this is a, uh, what do you call it? This is a, a Z432 Honeywell uh, zone board lights what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this button here and go into uh, checkout and this will allow us to open and close so you can see here that both zone 1 and zone 2 are green which means uh, they should be uh, opening so I should be having 24 volts going to uh, uh, to the green wire so in this case it would be three all right so I need to make sure that both zones are open uh, the actual dampers because they're still loose as you can see. I can still turn it. Well, not right now because there's air, but uh, we'll go ahead. Yeah, okay. So we're going to make sure that it's actually open and then we will clamp this screw down. So I'm aligning this damper actuator with the actual damper inside so that this isn't attached right now. So right now it's currently going to be in the closed position and I'm doing this through the checkout mode on the board. So now I'm going to go ahead and place it into the open position, and you will see it is opening. Okay. okay, so that is in the open position now. So now I need to make sure that my actual damper is in the open position. Okay, that's closed, so that is open. So now that we have verified that it's in the open position, 
we will go ahead and crank this down. And now we're going to go ahead and close the damper. Make sure that it works properly. Okay, so it is now in the closed position. So this one is aligned, so now we got to do the other one. So we're going to go ahead and align this one. So currently the damper is in the open position. I feel air coming out of the discharge side, so we're going to go ahead and crank this down. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close the damper. It is not able to turn. We may have to change the wiring. So we're gonna put this in the closed position and then we're gonna crank it. And I think we might have to swap the wires uh, just because the direction of this might be different than that other one, just because of its location. We're in the closed position. So, but the actual damper is open. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and swap the wires up the board since it'll be easier to get to. So let's go ahead and uh, open it. So now it's able to turn the damper as you can see. So this damper is actually closed, but it's supposed to be open. So we're gonna have to switch the wiring. Okay, so we've swapped the wiring. Now it's currently in the open position. So you can see now that the damper is actually opening up and I can feel air coming out. So both dampers should be open right now, which they both are now. And this one's in the process of opening. So sometimes you have to switch that. That's why it's counterclockwise, clockwise. That way you can use it in any direction. Okay, good. So now both of them are open. We're gonna go ahead and close it one last time. This is the nice thing about the uh, Honeywell Z432 is the checkout mode. I can manually open and close these. Um, on a whim. Especially it's nice that they mounted it right here so it makes it a lot easier to test. Alright so that is currently closed. And then what we're gonna do, make it easy for the next guys, we're gonna make a line, straight line across, showing the position of that. Just makes it a lot easier when you're changing these dampers that way you don't have to do this alignment or drill holes like I have to. So anyway hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.